guys, uh, DM Scotty here. Good to have you with me. Today I am. we are going to make our bed. Well, not make our bed, but we're going to make small beds for our RPG games. Um, I've had some interest on my forums about this, because I had done some for a previous game I had run. And uh, I had mentioned it, and some people said they would like to see this, so I thought I, I would show it. I also want to give a shout out to the DMG Info. He has a great channel. If you know about the DM's craft but don't know about the DMG Info, he um, does work, uh, 2.5D work also, and he has a great channel. He has some great uh, alternative type tiles. Um, he has some fantastic furniture videos. So if you're really into making little uh, small furniture for your, your games and your 2.5D tiles, go to his channel and check it out. He's got some fantastic stuff. Uh, but I did beat him to the bed, so uh, let's go to the table and uh, I'll show you how I did that. Alright, for the start of my project I'm going to use some uh, wooden sticks. And this is just a matchstick. Uh, these are going to be the, um, the uh, posts for the bed. And then the headboard and the baseboard are going to be out of this this uh, stick. This is a quarter inch uh, wooden stick. Um, you can just get these at the craft store. So I've measured these out in one inch increments. And I'm going to use a, um, a wire cutter because these are pretty thick. So that just... And you see how I hold that so that it doesn't go flying? Just uh, put it on there and then hold each side. And then go like that. That way the piece won't go flying while you... If you hold it like this and cut it, that piece is going to go flying. So you don't want that to happen. So uh, make sure that you um, you hold both pieces when you cut it. Okay. So now I've got the head and the baseboard. Okay. And now I want the uh, the the post for the bed that'll be like this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and cut those. Those are half, I measured those in half inch pieces. Do it cold it the same way and cut that off. And cut that. Now, um, sometimes these matchsticks shred up, I've found. Um, but if you have some sh good sharp scissors, it should be all right. So you just um, cut. You need four of these uh, for the post of the bed, okay? And uh, now we'll move on to the next step. Now, these pieces are so small and delicate that um, when I cut these, I've got some, pr some stuff on the edge of the uh, piece. So when I put it on there, it won't be flush, okay? So what I need to do is sand it. So I have this little sander uh, that I've got, and I can just sand down edges like this and get them straight. And particularly that one, that one was really off. So I can sand that down and get it straight. And then also with these, um, you know, when you clip it, it tends to make a little bit of a, a rough end. So you can just sand those ends off, okay? So now we'll uh, move on to the next step. Now I need to attach the pieces together, okay? And so I've got them. Um, now there are several ways I could do it. Uh, one way would be to uh, use the hot glue gun, but I find that pieces this small are very difficult to work with the hot glue gun, so I much prefer to use the white glue. So I'm just gonna um, glue the edges of these. And I'm just going to put it on this plastic piece. And then just... So the plastic piece will help because I can pull this off or I can move it. Or you could use any kind of thing. Uh, it wouldn't have to be plastic. This is just a piece of throwaway plastic container. And then just do the second one. So this... Uh, see, it's just a little easier to do than the hot glue. Plus, when the, when the white glue dries, it... it pretty much shrinks and disappears, um, whereas the hot glue, you know, will leave those marks and everything. So I find that on small stuff like this, although it's not as, there's no instant gratification like the hot glue, that it's better. And it does dry really quickly, you'd be surprised. Okay, so now I'll let those dry uh, for a few minutes, and then we'll come back and go to the next step. It can be nice that once these have dried, you give them a little reinforcement. So what I like to do is take the, my white glue and um, go on the edges here. And then you can just kind of blend that in. 
and that really helps to just give it a little extra reinforcement. So, uh, yeah. just blend it in to the edges there. All right, there we go. And that'll dry pretty quick. So I've got a piece of paper towel and I'm going to cut it for the blanket for the bed. So I'm going to cut about there and just Okay, so now um, what I'm going to do is use, I've cut a piece of cardboard, um, this is a thin, thinner cardboard, it uh, is one inch wide by one and a half long, and then I want to make, I want to make a blanket out of this, so what I'm going to do is kind of look at the bed, and then I want to have a little bit of an overhang, right, so that's about good, I'll just cut there. All right, so now, move on to the next step. Now here I've got some water, and I have the little piece of cardboard. Now I've got uh, the piece of uh, paper towel I cut, so I'm just gonna wet it up, squeeze out most of the water, okay? And then uh, pull it back out. So what I wanna do is apply this to the the bed itself. So what I'm going to do is get it off my finger first. What I'm going to do is put some glue on here. This will get the the base going. And then I'm going to drape it over here. So you know you can be doing this while um, the posts of the bed are drying. So that's a little long on there though. I'm going to cut a little bit of that off I think. So now what I'm going to do is put some glue on the sides here. And then you can bend that down. Now it's kind of, it, gives, it does give a little bit of uh, relief, but it's kind of boring that way. Um, it doesn't look as, as, you know, interesting. So what I like to do is kind of fold it back. So take the top here, and just kind of fold it back, and you can put some more glue on there. and then just kind of fold it. Don't be afraid to make it a little rough because uh, the more you stick it up, the more kind of relief it's gonna have. So you can you know, kind of pull it up a bit or make it like that. Okay, so I'll play with that a little bit, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so I've got that how I like it, and it looks pretty good. So what you can do is while this is drying, you can take a little piece of cardboard and put it underneath it, and that kind of lifts it up, okay? So now I'm taking another square of uh, the paper towel. I'm going to wet it, and this is going to be the pillow, okay? Okay, so now that I have that untangled, um, what I can do is kind of roll it up. All right, so I end up with something like that, okay? So now um, I'm going to cut it because that's a pretty large pillow there. All right, so we got a nice pillow. So now all we do is add some glue, stick that on there, and we're good to go. 
Now I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the top. This will harden this up. And you'll want to do this several times, okay? So that'll dry up nice and hard. All right? Yeah, so that'll dry up nice and hard. So we'll have to let this dry about a day. But ideally, you want to do, you know, as many beds as you want. Um, and then you're done. You know, you don't really don't have to do them again. So, um, yeah, we'll go let this dry, and then we'll move on to the next step. Alrighty, so here we go, we have our components. So I'm gonna assemble this, and uh, see that's all dry, it's all good. Uh, now I'm gonna take the head and baseboard and uh, apply them to the bed. Now I'm gonna use my glue gun for this part, okay? Um, so I'll just put a bead of glue on there, and apply it. All right, so we gotta get that. Gotta get that wisp off there. On the other side. All right, there we go. We have a bed. So that's all there is to it. So now we will paint this sucker up and uh, come back. So I'm going to paint it uh, base black and really you can paint these any way you want. So if you want to you know um, have particular colors for your beds you can do it that way. If you want to do it kind of do a generic bed which is more what I'm going to do you can do it that way and I'll show you how I paint it up. So uh, when I come back I'll show you what it looks like. So here's just a basic guard room with the, the beds in it. Let me give you a closer look. So pull this up, and you can see uh, painted up very nicely. I uh, painted the whole thing, uh, sprayed it black, then painted it with um, a dark brown. Then I used a spice brown for the foot and the head rails, uh, and I used a, a tan um, for the uh, bed itself. Then I uh, highlighted it with a like an off-white, so that gave it a nice little highlight there. And, uh, yeah, there we go. They, they look great. Um, so here's, uh, say here's some guys. Here's a scale, uh, scale comparison to the guys. Um, they're probably actually a little bit bigger than regular beds would be, but, you know, that's okay. And you can always make them smaller if you want. So, um, you know, the great thing about beds is they can be very, you know, cinematic and not just, um, not just set pieces. Like, say our players come in, okay, um, you know, the the guards could flip the bed up, and the way I've made the bed is it makes it very easy for it to stand up, and they could go behind the bed and, you know, shoot at the players, um, that kind of thing. I also had a, a really fun game when I, I used the beds where um, there were creatures, and they were hiding under the beds, and so one of the players came over, and the creature flipped the bed up, onto the player and knocked him over and then, you know. So, you know, that kind of stuff can be very cinematic. Um, you know, we're telling the story, uh, we're trying to make it fun. You know, do crazy stuff like that. Um, you could have, uh, you know, a corpse in the bed or, you know, the players come in, they see some something's in the bed but they're not sure what it is, you know, it's covered up. Or something's moving, you know, you could have like a swarm, you know, moving in the mattress. Um, they come up and check it out or they maybe they just toast the bed, I don't know. But um, anyways, yeah, you know, beds can be, and furniture can be really cinematic um, as far as, as doing this. And, and the way that beds are constructed, it really helps to have them that they can stand up like that. So that, uh, you know, people can hide behind them or flip them over or, um, and, you know, make sure you paint the bottom because, you know, if you're going to do that kind of stuff, flip stuff over, you want to think about that. So there we go. There's some uh, nice and easy beds, and I'll see you next time on The Craft. Hey crafters, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the DM's Craft. Uh, make sure to subscribe, and I have tons of other videos as you can see. I am the originator of the 2.5D method of crafting tiles. 
I also do dirt cheap terrain for the table. If all this intrigues you, make sure you check out all the videos below. Also, uh, join my forum. We have lots of great crafters on there who give uh, advice. I have a link above and below. And last but not least, remember, go forth and craft! <laughs>